Hi, so I'm just going to take you through using the Panopto iPad app to record and upload a video from an iPad. So what you first need to do is go to your app store and install the Panopto app and you can just do this by searching for Panopto and then clicking on the install button. Once installed, if you click to open the app, you'll be presented with the interface which is very much similar to this. You'll then be able to click on the sign in button and if it's the first time that you're installing the app, it'll be, you'll be required to add an address. So the address you need to add is actually ljmutest.hosted.panopto.com. Once you've typed in this address, click sign in and then you'll be presented with the following screen and this allows you to log in using your LJMU Blackboard username and password so if you click the sign in button you can then enter your LJMU username and password and then click login on logging in you'll be presented with a screen like this where it will present the most recent videos uh, in a list and you'll be able to actually click and view any available videos. Now this will include only videos that of modules that you are enrolled in or that you've created. Now to record and upload you can select the record and up upload button and you'll then be presented with a series of folders. If you are a student that is recording, or this is a student making a recording, they'll only be able to record into what's known as a Dropbox folder. Now, as a lecturer, you can create a Dropbox folder within any of your module folders within Panopto by logging into the Panopto server. So you can select one of the available folders, or you can click on the Browse button and this will present all the current folders that are available to you and these will correspond to the modules that you're enrolled in on Blackboard. Select the folder and you'll then be able to either enter a title now or after you've recorded the folder. So you can enter a title and then you can click into either maybe choosing a video so if you've pre-recorded a video that's on the iPad you can select one of these videos it'll give you the option to actually preview the video as well and then you can select use if you want to use it clicking on use will then compress the video and start it to be available in Panopto you'll then be able to again get the option to rename the recording or delete it using the rubbish bin in the bottom right and then you'll be taken to the next page which will start uploading the video to Panopto. Now as well as uploading pre-recorded videos you can actually create a recording of your own by click start, it's clicking on start recording. Panopto will probably want access to your microphone and also your video camera. Click OK to access both of these and you'll then be able to click on the record button and make a recording. When you're finished with that, click on the stop button and you'll be given a preview of your video. And again, you can click on use video or even retake if you wish. Doing this will again give you the same options to delete the video and to title the recording if you wish. And then once you've done that, the upload process will start to Panopto. After uploading a video to Panopto, you'll get the ability to share the video. Now it will be uploaded directly into the folder so you could then go into Blackboard and simply via the Panopto option add the video into Blackboard. Alternatively you may wish to share a link of it and by clicking on share it will open up your web browser like this and it will give the ability to share the link with people purely on your course or maybe even make it available to be shared with anyone over the internet.